arms to the sides and palms facing up towards the ceiling. So adjust your shoulder blades, make them flat against the ground, moving your hips side to the side, allowing your hip to be relaxed, and let your spine to melt into your mat. Let's take a deep inhale through the nostrils, feel your lungs. With your exhale, go. Go, release, and relax. Just check in with your body and see how you feel at this moment. Gently remind yourself why you show up on the mat. Leave the worries outside the room. Just bring yourself your focus to this moment to your breathing, to your body, to your heart center. Just feel the energy inside of your palms, feeling the parts touching the body. Taking a deep inhale through the nostrils, feeling your lungs and your belly button. With your exhale, allowing that air to leave your belly button first and your chest. Take a deep inhale, feel your lungs. With your exhale, allow yourself to sink into your mind. Let's make a fist with your hands, tense your arms, tense, 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 tense. And release. Tense your legs. Tense, 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 tense. And release. Tense your torso. Tense, 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 tense. And release. Squeeze your face. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nobody can see you. <laughs> squeeze. And release. Tense your whole body, including your face. Tense, 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 tense. And release. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale. Bring your arms over your head, feet together. Give yourself a nice big stretch. And reach and reach and reach and reach. And release. Bring your knees into your chest, interlace your fingers in front of your shins. Rolling your torso side to the side. Grab your knees with your hands. We are going to circle that knees. Open and close. Open and close. Keeping your right knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers in front of your chin. Expand your left leg down towards the floor. Flex your left toes or point them so you can engage that left leg to make your right knee move closer to your torso. Squeezing that right knee into your chest, squeezing your digestive system. We're going to grab that right toe with the right piece fingers, keeping your right elbow inside of your knee. Turn the right sole up towards the ceiling for your half happy baby and gently lower your right knee outside of your torso. Feel your head, your hamstrings gently waking up. You can play with it, whatever feels right. If you like to extend your leg, move it to the side. You can see how it feels. Grab your right knee with your left hand, troubling your knee to the opposite side. Keeping your right shoulder on the floor, gently allow your body to wake up, your spine to wake up. Coming back to center, change sides. Right leg on the floor, flex your toe or point, interlace your finger in front of your left shin, pull that knee into your chest to start with. You will notice the more you push that right leg down towards the floor, the more you can move your left knee into your chest as much as you can. Then we are going to grab that left toes, keeping your left elbow inside of your left knee. Turn the sole of your left foot up towards the ceiling for your half happy baby. 
allowing that left knee to travel towards the floor and see how it feels. Still remember to focus your left, right leg as well. Flex or point your chest. Nice one. Coming back to center. Both legs on the floor, arms over your head, give yourself a nice big stretch. And reach and reach and reach. And release. Bring your both knees into your chest. We're going to roll ourselves backwards and forwards five times. Massaging our spine, rolling forward once, rolling forward twice. And three times. The fifth one, we are going to come up to the chair first. Let's see if we can do it. Fourth one, and fifth one, we come up the chair first. Remember to tuck your tailbone in, double check your toes. In that triangle between the knees, pull the knees back to see your toes, tailbone tucked in, turning your little pinky fingers towards each other to have the external rotation for your shoulders. Tuck your belly button in, take a deep inhale. Exhale, fall forward from the hip crease, grab your elbows. You can get your feet on the hip lifter of the heart. Let's sway our toes aside to the side. Release that tension from your neck. Maybe extend one knee at a time and see how it feels. Let's pull the belly button into the spine with the inhale. With your exhale, fold even a little bit more deeper. Release that tension from your neck. Let's bend the knees. Slowly bring yourself back up to standing. Let everyone lift up. Repeat together. Bring your palms together. Squeeze your arms behind your ears. Push your hip forward. Lift your heart center up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your inner thighs, reach up, reach back, and coming back to Samasthiti. So we notice that we feel that lots of uh, stress in our root chakra. So we are going to focus on that, working on the hips and the root chakra to release that survival tension going on recently. So when you're practicing, if you focus on the red color in your mind as well, and that will help you to focus on your root chakra at the same time. So let's bring the feet together onto open mat. Hands together on your heart center. Take a deep inhale through the nostrils. Close your eyes for a minute. Exhale through the nostrils. Set up your intentions for your practice. From your heart center, start your sentence with I am. And finish it how you want to feel today. Let's take a deep inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. With your exhale, fall forward from the hip crease, release that tension from the neck. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat, squeeze that shoulder blades. Exhale, fold, bring your right leg back, big step, sinking your hip down towards the floor. Inhale, your left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Push the floor away with your right hand. Exhale, release your right hand down, step forward with your right leg, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Back to some seated. Inhale, arms up. Gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, fold forward from the hip crease. Micro bend on the knees. Inhale, coming halfway. Your back is flat. Exhale, bring your left leg back. Deep set. Sit your hip down towards the floor. Releasing your left hand on the floor, your right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Good. Release your right hand down, step forward with your left leg, inhale, coming halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, gaze to your fingertips, and back to some Stiti. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, fall forward from hip crease, release that tension from the neck. 
Inhale, come in half for your back. Sweat. Exhale, bring your right leg back. Big step, sinking it down towards the floor a little bit more. Pushing your right knee up, right heel back. Good. Releasing your right hand on the floor. Inhale, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release your left hand down. Step back with your left leg coming to your flat. So beautiful plan, beautiful breathing. Pull your belly button into your spine. Push the floor away with your hands. Squeeze your forearms, squeeze your inner thighs and your glutes. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. You're going to lower the heels to the right side. Lifting your left arm up towards the ceiling with your inhale. Exhale, release your left hand down. Inhale, push the floor away one more time. Lower into your chaturanga with your exhale. Inhale, upper dog, knee down if you need to. Exhale, to your down dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. We are going to walk towards the front of the mat, but we will keep the legs straight. So using the sides of your hip to lift up towards the ceiling to be able to lift your feet off the ground, then have the baby steps. Like a stick man leg walk, lifting the right side, step forward to left side, forward, small steps to feel that beautiful stretch on the sides of your top. So taking your time to walk to the front of your mat. If you're working on your hand steps, when you reach to the front of your mat, try to tap your elbows with your toes to see how it feels and fold. Releasing your left hand on the floor, bend your knees, keep your feet together. We are going to reach that right arm up towards the ceiling, straightening that right leg, keeping your left knee bent. If it's okay to do so, bring your gaze to your right fingertips. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand down, slowly bring yourself back up to standing. Inhale, reaching up towards the ceiling, palms together. Exhale, back to your samasthiti. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, for forward from your crease, release the tension from the neck. Inhale, coming halfway, the back is flat. Squeeze that shoulder blades into each other. Exhale, fold, bring your left leg out, big step. Sink your hip down towards the floor. Release that left hand on the floor. Inhale, your right hand goes up towards the ceiling. Push the floor away with your left hand. Focus on that left knee to push up, left heel to push back, and throw your hip down a little bit more towards the floor for you. Thank you. Release your right hand on the floor. Step back for your plank. Beautiful plank. Squeezing your inner thighs, squeezing your glutes, pushing the floor away with your hands. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release your heels to the left side. With your inhale, your right hand goes up towards the ceiling. Push the floor away with your head. Good, take a deep inhale, exhale, release your hands on the floor, back to your plank, inhale, with your exhale, chaturanga or knees on the ground, that's absolutely fine. Untangle your toes, inhale, up the dog, exhale, to your down the dog. Again, we are keeping the legs straight, we stick leg man walking, lift the right side of the hip, Draw your feet slightly forward, left side of the hip, reaching right side, left side, stretching the sides of your torso. Have another challenge, digging your fingers and knuckles into your mat. Try to touch your wrist with your toes and bend your knees, feet together. Release your right hand on the floor under your face. Inhale, left arm goes up towards the ceiling, straightening that left leg, keeping the right knee bent, push the floor away with your right hand, gaze to your left fingertips, if it's a little bit of a be so. <laughs> Bend your knees, release your hands on the floor. Inhale, all the way up. 
Back to Samastiti. Inhale, arms up, gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, fall forward, grow the hip crease, release that tension from the neck. Inhale, coming halfway up your back is flat. Exhale, fold, bring your right leg back, big set, sink your hip down towards the floor. Inhale, your left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release your left arm down, step back with your inhale for your plank. Exhale, lower your heels to your right side. Inhale, your left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Push the hip up towards the ceiling one more time. With your exhale, throw your left arm over your head towards the front, towards the knee. Push your hip up one more time. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release your left hand down back to the plank. Inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, to your down dog. Keeping your feet on the hip distance apart on your down dog. Double check your index fingers pointing forward. Your elbows slightly facing down towards the mat or towards your knees. Inhale, right leg goes up towards the ceiling for your three leg dog. Let's push the floor away with your hands and lifting your left heel off the ground. Bend your right knee. Slowly travel that right knee towards the right elbow. Traveling your shoulders above your fingertips. You're almost on your plank. Pushing the shoulders forward. Knee is touching to the elbow if you can. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Lift that right leg up again. Three leg drop. Reach back. Lift your left heel. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the elbow to the knee. Tiger curls. One more time. Inhale, lift that right leg up. Three leg up. Exhale, bring your right leg forward. Left knee down for your Anjaniyasana. Help it if you need to for your right leg. To have that knee along with your ankle. Inhale, reaching up towards the ceiling with your fingertips. Throw your shoulders away from the ears. We are going to have the action of dragging right foot back, left knee forward, and tucking your tailbone in. So you can feel the left side of the psoas muscles. Shoulders are down, turning your pinky fingers towards each other to have an external rotation for the shoulders. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Release your hands on the floor. Step forward with your left leg, coming halfway up the back is flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Back to Samastiti. Inhale, arms out, gaze your fingertips. Exhale, fall forward from the hip crease. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat. Squeeze that shoulder blades. Exhale, fold. Bring your left leg back, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the floor. Release your left hand on the floor. Inhale, your right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Push the floor away. Exhale, release that right hand down. Inhale, step back to your plank. Push the floor away. Exhale, release your heels to your left side. Inhale, your right hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Exhale, turn your right hand over your head. Have that beautiful stretch on the right side. Coming back to your plank. Inhale, push the floor away. Good. Exhale, chaturanga. Knees down if you need to. Inhale, up the dog or baby cobra. Exhale, to down dog. Take a deep inhale through the nostrils. Pull your belly button into your spine with your exhale. Trying to reach that sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Inhale, left leg goes up towards the ceiling for your three leg dog. Exhale, tiger curls, push the shoulders above the fingertips, bring your left knee into your left elbow, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift that left leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, squeeze your elbow, squeeze your knee to the elbow, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift that left leg up as high as you can. 
Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Step forward with your left foot. Drop your right knee down, Anjaniyasana. Reaching up towards the ceiling with your fingertips. Travel your shoulders away from your ears. Dragging your left foot back, right knee forward. Let's tuck that tailbone in. Shoulders are down. Fingertips have energy shooting. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale. With your exhale, release your hands on the floor. Step forward with your right leg, coming half of your back is flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Back to your stomach, seated. Inhale, arms up, gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, fall forward from hip crease, release that tension from your neck. Inhale, coming half of your back is flat. Exhale, fold, bring your right leg back. And sit. Your left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Into inhale, push the floor away with your right hand. Exhale, release your right hand inside of your left. Release your left hand inside of your left foot. We're going to drop that right heel down to the floor. So you're going to face open to the side and reaching up towards the ceiling with your right fingertips. Can you push the edge of your right foot towards the floor a little bit more? Can you push your arm and knee into each other a little bit more? Can you open your torso a little bit more? Beautiful. Take a deep inhale. With your exhale, release your right hand down. Step back for your plank. Adjust your hands under the shoulders distance. Squeeze your little thighs. Take a deep inhale. With your exhale to a chaturanga, turn your toes, inhale up or baby cobra. Exhale to your downward dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Right leg toes up with your inhale for your three leg dog. Exhale, squeeze that knee into the chin, push the shoulders above the fingertips. You tie the toes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, bring your right leg forward and sit. Help it if you need to. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your right hand inside of your right foot. Drop your left heel to the side. Inhale, your left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Can you push the edge of your left foot into your mat? Beautiful. Release your left hand on the floor. Step back for your plank with your right leg. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up the dog. Exhale, to your downward dog. We are going to jump forward for the Malasana, so bend your knees open to the sides. Look beyond your fingertips, we are going to land with our hands, feet outside of the hands. Look forward, inhale, jump forward and sit on your Malasana. So your feet are on the hip distance, the hat toes are out, palms together, push your elbows out to the sides, squeeze your glutes. Take a deep inhale, squeeze your glutes, push the knees up. Exhale, release your glutes. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release. We are going to have your hands on the shoulders distance. Bring your hands on the floor. We need to lift the hip up towards the ceiling, but keeping the Palms glued to the ground, so palms are not going to lift up. Doesn't matter how high you will go into here. Take a deep inhale, lift your hip up, keep your palms on the floor, good. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your hip up again. Exhale, bring your hip down, up towards the floor. Inhale, lift that one more time. Exhale. Hold. We are going to reach forward with your fingertips. Thumbs up. Turn your thumbs down. Traveling your arms in front of your shins. So back of your hands are on the floor behind of your knees. 
When you're ready, lift your hip up slowly towards the ground. We don't want the hip all the way up. We don't want to have the hip all the way down. We want to have the hip somewhere in the middle so you can rest your thigh, on, rest your chest on top of your thighs. Release that tension from your neck. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Get your arms quite heavy. Allow the legs to do all the work. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Turn your toes forward, hip or feet are on hip distance apart. Slowly bring yourself back up to standing. Feet together again, reaching up towards the ceiling. Bring your arms behind your ears, push your hip forward, chest open, head back, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your legs. And back to center city. Feet together again, to both your mat, hands together, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale, legs up, gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, fall forward from hip crease, release that tension from your neck. Inhale, coming halfway up, your back is flat. Exhale, bring your right leg back, sinking it down towards the floor. Inhale, your left arm reaches up towards the ceiling, push the floor away with your right hand. Exhale, release your left hand down, step back for your plank with your inhale. Exhale to Chaturanga. Remember, knees down if you need to. Inhale, up the dog, or go to the cobra. Exhale to down dog. Take a deep inhale. Turn your sitting bones up towards the ceiling. With your exhale, release that tension from the neck. Inhale, right leg goes up towards the ceiling. Lift your left heel. Bring your right knee to the chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift your right leg up as high as you can. Exhale, tighten your curl. Squeeze that right knee into the right elbow. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift that right leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, squeeze that knee to the opposite. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift that right leg up one more time. Exhale, bring your right leg forward and sit. Sending that right left heel back, left knee to go up. Sending your hip down towards the floor. Inhale, your right arm goes up towards the ceiling, gentle twist. Exhale, release your right hand inside of your right foot. Drop your left heel to the side. Inhale, your left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Good. Push your right knee and the arm into each other. Trust your legs to hold you when you come up to your walking two. Take a deep inhale. Lift. Good. Exhale. Sink. Fantastic. Now, we're going to have the energy shooting from the fingertips. We want to have the loose that Beyonce, tuck the tailbone in. Squeeze that shoulder blades into each other one more time. Double check your right knee, make sure it's aligned with your ankle and so slowly towards the right heel toe. Can you focus on that left foot to push it a little bit more towards the floor? Good. Can you breathe? Good. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. We are going to interlace the fingers on the back, pushing the palms into each other. Squeeze the shoulder blades, chest open. Getting ready for your humble warrior. So you can turn your torso forward, lifting your left heel off the ground if it's too much, or you can keep your left heel left heel down on the floor. See how it feels when you lower your torso inside of that right knee for your humble warrior, bringing your arms over your head. If it's too much, you can turn your left heel off the ground or you can turn your left heel slightly in to give you better stability. Take a deep inhale, pull your belly button into your spine. With your exhale, let's release the hands on the floor. Step forward into your left leg, coming halfway your back is flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. 
back to Samasthiti. Let's do the same on the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, bring your left leg back, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the floor. Inhale, your right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release your right hand down. Step back, inhale for your planks. Good. Exhale, release your heels to your left side. Inhale, right hand goes up. Exhale, release. Chaturanga, inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, beautiful chaturangas. Inhale, up and go. Exhale, to down dog. Ready for your tiger curls, for your core muscles. Inhale, left leg goes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knee to the chin. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, knee to the same elbow. Push the shoulders above the fingertips. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to the opposite. A little bit of twist. Still traveling the shoulders above the fingertips. Inhale, lifting that left leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bring your left leg forward and sit. Help it if you need to. Inhale, your left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Push the floor away with your right hand. Exhale, mm -hmm. bring your left hand inside of your left foot. We're going to drop that right heel to the side. Inhale, your right hand goes up towards the ceiling. Can you focus on that right edge of your right foot towards the floor? Trust your legs. Inhale. When you're ready, exhale. We're going to lift that for warrior two. Beautiful. Sink. Your lower legs are stronger than you think. We're going to pull that belly button in. Sink up your jeans. Bring your Michael Jackson. Reaching opposite directions with your fingertips. Trust your legs. Double check your left knee. Make sure it's aligned with your left ankle. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. And exhale. Ready for your humble warrior? Let's interlace the fingers on the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades into each other. You can turn your right to a slightly 45 degrees. You can lift your right foot off the ground and see how it feels. Take a deep inhale. Put your exhale falling forward from the crease for your humble warrior, keeping your hip aligned in between your heels. We don't want to be hip that's sticking out to the side. Release that tension from your neck. Feel that crown of the head traveling towards the floor. Bring your arms over your head and lift a bit more. Take a deep inhale. With your exhale, release your hands on the floor. Step forward with your right leg, coming half of your back is flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Back to Samasthiti. Couple of nice flows, follow with me. Take a deep inhale, reach up. Exhale, fall forward from hip crease. Inhale, coming half of your back is flat. Exhale, step or jump back to your chapter. Keeping the elbows close to the ribs. Good. Inhale, up and dog or baby cobra. Exhale, to down the dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, turn your sitting bones up towards the ceiling and breathe a bit more. Push the floor away with your hands and breathe a bit more. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, jump or step forward. Come in halfway up, squeeze that shoulder blades. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Back to Samasthiti. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Use your breath. Inhale, come in halfway. Your back is up. Exhale, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Careful with your back injuries. Put your knees down if you need to inhale up the dog. Exhale, tears down the dog. Take a deep inhale. 
Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, jump or step forward to halfway. Back is flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look well. Back to summer city. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or jump back to Chaturanga. Knees down if you need to. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, to your down dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, last jumping forward. We're going to come forward for Malasana. So bend your knees. Open your knees to the sides. Inhale, jump for your Malasana. Exhale, your back. So your feet are on the outside of your hands and turning up to the sides. Placing your palms together, squeeze your knees up to the sides. Take a deep inhale, squeeze your glutes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze your glutes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release. Placing your hands on the floor. Palms, glue to the ground. Inhale, lift your hip up. Exhale, fall, bring your hip down. Keep your hands on the floor. Inhale, lift your hip up. Exhale, lower your hip down. Inhale, lift your hip up. Exhale, lower your hip down. So we're going to step back with the left leg, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the floor. As an option, you can drop your left knee down or you can keep your left knee off the ground. We're going to bring that right hand on the right knee, turning your right toes to two o'clock. We're going to push that knee up to the side. You can travel your hip towards your heel. Feel that beautiful stretch for your inner thighs, for your hip sockets. You can lift the left knee off the ground, go a little bit more deeper, or you can lift Leave your left knee on the ground, that's absolutely fine. Let's come down on the forearms, if it's available to do so. If it's not available, keep your hands on the floor. And again, as an option, you can lift your left knee off the ground, or you can keep your left knee on the floor, absolutely fine. Some of us are more flexible, so maybe Going down all the way to the chest is possible to do so and see how it feels. Don't force yourself, be careful, be gentle, taking different options. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Tucking your left toe in, we're going to travel that hip towards the back of the room, turning your right toes up towards the ceiling. Drag that right heel back to have that beautiful stretch for the right leg. If it's possible to do so, you can sit on your left heel and lift your hands off the ground to bring your palms together on the heart center. If the hands are on the floor, that's absolutely fine. You can drag that right leg back to shift the hands on the floor. That's absolutely fine. Sending your right knee forward. Lifting your left heel off the ground, coming to your pyramid pose, stretching your mat between your feet. Hands can be on the floor, hands doesn't reach on the floor. You can keep your hands on your shin, that's absolutely fine. Trying to focus on that left side of the hip back, right side of the hip forward. Now step forward with your left leg, coming halfway up, your back is flat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. And back to your center seat. So we're going to have a little bit of a challenge, bird of paradise, if you're working with the hips. So what we're going to do, keeping the feet, there are many different ways to go for the bird of paradise. So keeping the feet on the hip distance apart. You can fall forward first and traveling your um, Right shoulder, mirroring you, <laughs> just a moment. So your right shoulder will go under your right knee 
putting your hands behind. So we're going to travel the right arm behind to interlace your fingers or grab your hands together. Then bringing your weight to your left foot, slowly lifting yourself off the ground and extending your leg. So we're going to go step by step. So maybe it's better to watch on this side. We're going to fall forward, travel your right shoulder under your right knee, bend your knees, bring your right arm under your right thigh and bring it towards us. So your right arm is under and turn your palm up towards your spine. So left arm will travel back, meet them on the back. Bring your weight towards the left foot. Slowly find your way to lift yourself up towards the ceiling. Maybe reaching your right toes up, extending your right leg. See how it feels. Nice. <laughs> if you can't go all the way up, that's absolutely fine. If you can do it, that's amazing. This is something to work. Brilliant. Bring ourselves back again. Let's keep going back to Malasana, keeping your feet on hip distance and wider the toes. Sink back into center, palms together. Push the elbows into the knees. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. One more time. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. And again, squeeze your glutes, push your elbows into the knees, widening that knee, squeeze, 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 and release. Place your hands on the floor. Remember, we will keep the palms glued to the ground, it doesn't matter how high you can go up with your hip. Inhale, lift your hip up, keep the palms on the floor. Exhale, fold your knees. Inhale, lift your hip up, relax that neck. Exhale, bend your knees again, release your hip back. Inhale, lift up one more time. Exhale, fold. Let's bring that left leg back, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the floor. You can drop your left knee down on the floor, that's absolutely fine. Placing your left hand on the left knee, send your knee out and to the side, travel your hip towards the hip. Yes, yeah, towards the <laughs> sending the knee out, sending your hip towards the floor. You can lift your right knee off the ground, it's absolutely fine. Pushing it out, feel your hip socket. Then you can go on the forearms if your body allows you to do so or stay in the first version. That's absolutely fine. And for those of you more flexible, you can go down on your chest and see how it feels for your body. But please don't be a hero, careful, be gentle, keep this up. We're going to keep that right toe tucked in. Sending your hip towards the back of the room, dragging your left leg back, turning your left toes up towards the ceiling. If your hands are on the floor, drag the floor with your hands, push the floor with your hands and drag that left leg back. If you can sit on the right heel, that's fine. You can reach up towards the ceiling with your fingertips or you can keep your palms together on the heart center. The most important is keeping those left toes engaged all the time. Good, release your hands on the floor, lift your right knee off the ground, come into your pyramid pose. Let's keep both legs straight, squaring your hip to see how it feels. Bending your left knee forward, step forward with your right leg and fold. Let's keep that feet wider than the hip distance apart. We will try for the bird of paradise one more time. So lower your chest, bend your knees slightly, travel that left shoulder under that left knee. Bring your hand behind towards your um, 
torso. Travel your right arm behind and meet your hands on the back. Let's bring that weight to the right foot. Slowly with control, lift your left foot off the ground for your bird of paradise. Beautiful, really nice, still breathing. Don't hold your breath and extend your left leg up. If you fall, don't worry, we can try again. That's absolutely fine. Careful with your injuries. Remember, one side feels different than the other side. Make sure you breathe. Gently coming back to center. Release your arms. Bring your feet together. Inhale all the way up. Back to Samastiti. Inhale, arms up. Gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, fall forward from hip crease. Release that tension from your neck. Inhale, coming halfway up. Your back is flat. Exhale, fold. Coming to your chair, pose with your inhale. Swipe your fingertips on the floor. Coming to your chair first. Inhale. Lift your heels off the ground, squeeze your inner thighs and your glutes, and slowly bring yourself towards your heels. How slow can you move yourself down? Yay, it's burning. <laughs> Gently lower your heels on the floor. With control, inhale, exhale, lower your knees towards the ground. You're not going to touch the knees to the floor. Use your core muscles. Inhale, exhale, lower your heels back down again. Slowly sit yourself back to the ground. Maybe you can bring your feet a little bit forward. Slowly, right arm right, right, right arm right, lower yourself back to the ground. Nice one. Release the legs. Bring the arms over your head. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. We're going to carry on with the emergence. So remember your options are easy options, waterfall. Bring your legs up 90 degrees, turn your toes. You can have the knuckles, your fists under your hip to make a little bit of Leverage for your hip, that will feel nice. That's your waterfall for 10 breaths. Or you can push your hands on the floor, throw the legs over your head, support your torso with your hands to go for your shoulder stand. Make sure you walk your hands to your shoulder blades to bring yourself higher. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs. Feel the pressure on your throat for your thyroid glands. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Just check in with your body and see how you feel right now. Feel the difference from the beginning of your practice. Feel the difference from the beginning of your day. And of course, if you want to do Headstand, you can go for a headstand and see how it feels. Right now, I'm keeping it nice and flowing and easy so everyone can join and enjoy the classes online. But maybe we will have some more difficult classes with the headstands tutorials. Make sure you use your hands on the floor to use them as a brace. Slowly peel your torso back to the ground. When your hip reach to the ground, bring your knees into your chest, massaging your back, rolling yourself side to side. We're going to open the arms to the sides like they have to. Drop the knees to the right side. Turn your gaze to the other side. Take a deep inhale. With your exhale, and allow your arms to go heavy. Relax your knees. Release that tension from your feet. Relax your neck and your shoulders. 
Feel your palms heavy. Release that tension from the whole of your body. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Release. Coming back to center with your knees. Drop your knees to the left side. Turn your gaze to the right side and again. Starting from your palms. Release that tension from your arms, your elbows, your shoulders. Release that tension from your face. Allow your spine to adjust. You let go of tension from the knees. Your ankles a bit more heavy. Deep inhale. And exhale. And gently coming back to center. Interlace your fingers in front of your shins. Massage on the back. Roll yourself. We are going to go for a full happy baby pose. Keep grabbing your toes with your pinky fingers, keeping your elbows inside of the knees. Turn the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling and allow your knees to drop to the side. If your hip is lifting up, we want to push that hip down towards the floor. You can tuck your chin in slightly to elongate your spine. Can you allow your arms to feel heavy? Imagine there are weights under your feet. Drawing your knees towards the floor a little bit more. Release that tension from your shoulders. Your arms are heavy. Your knees are heavy. You can feel it on your hip sockets. You get your arms a little bit more heavier. Releasing that tension from the shoulders. Relax your gaze. Begin to expand the legs to the sides. So turning your toes to your shoulders, sending your heels out. Allow your legs to go. Heavy again, widening your legs, stretching your hamstrings, your calf muscles one more time. You need to engage your kneecaps, go a little bit more wider, you just stretch on your legs. Beautiful, slowly bring your knees together, massaging your back, rolling yourself side to side. We are going to bring the feet on the ground, keep distance apart, knees are up towards the ceiling, arms by the side. Take a deep inhale, tilt your sitting bones, slowly lift your feet off the ground, send your knees forward, drag your heels back. Creating a space between your vertebrae before your savasana. You know that's why you're here for. I'm sorry I forget my singing ball at home. <laughs> I will sing for you instead. <laughs> Slowly lower yourself down, back to the ground. Adjust your shoulder blades. Lower your legs to the sides. Drop your toes to the sides. Turn your palms, open up towards the ceiling. Turn your head side to the side. Release that tension from your neck. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Release that tension from your face. Relax your face. Your face is relaxed. Relax your shoulders. 
your shoulders relax. Relax your elbows. Your elbows relax. Relax your palms. Your palms are relaxed. Relax your ribcage. Your ribcage relaxes. Relax your spine. Your spine is Relax your feet. Your feet is smooth. Relax your thighs. Your thighs are smooth. Relax your knees. Your knees are relax your shins. Your shins are I'm going to leave it here, guys, in the relaxation. Enjoy. Love you all. See you next time.